Welcome to RT10 News. I'm Tara Lockery Grant, and here's your weekly entertainment news update. RT Television is 50 years old on New Year's Eve, and a host of familiar faces spoke to 10's Alan Corr, including Miriam O'Callaghan, Brian Dobson, Bunny Carr, and Bill O'Hurley. And he asked them about their earliest TV memories. It's quite interesting. I was just saying to Bunny Carr, I think it's Bunny Carr. Oh, I think it would be Blonnet. Do you remember the, the, remember the woman who used to do the, the drawing on, on television? So that would be sometime in the 1960s. And I was always into art as a kid. And I, really, I, really, uh, I, really, I remember that very, very clearly, her doing that, that programme. I'm sure it was a very simple little programme. My first memory of television was when I came in to be an announcer, I thought. But the man, Mr Lacey, gave me ads to read and I read them. And my first memory of what I had to read, I thought I was going home after that, but no, I was on duty reading the ads. And in those days, films were slow to come on stream. So everybody had live ads with slides. And the first ad I read was, Buy Belinda Baby Pants, which I've always thought was starting at the bottom, more or less. And <laughs> He also asked them about their first day on the job in RTE. I can't remember it because I was heavily pregnant with twins and I was still working for BBC Newsnight and I was coming over to present a programme called Marketplace. I think it was so frenetic and I was so busy. I can't remember my first day, Alan. If I said I did, I'd be lying. Well, I joined RTE in 1987, so I'm almost 25 years here, which is half the time that the station has been here as well, which I, I realised with some horror uh, earlier today. My first job here was in radio. I came from BBC Radio in Northern Ireland uh, and I came down to work on the This Week programme. So I started off working in, in News and Current Affairs and I'm, I'm still here almost 25 years later. The first time I, I, I worked on television was in Cork. I, was, I had done a small bit of radio broadcasting and I was asked to do an interview with a woman who survived uh, the sinking of the Lusitania. Frank Hall was doing a, a programme on the 50th anniversary and that actually uh, was the first time I was in television and I was scared out of my life. And I thought I was desperate. But fortunately Frank Hall saw something in me that I didn't see and he said I was to do all the work out of Cork after that. The presenters shared their outstanding memory of RT television over the last 50 years. I do remember Gay Byrne doing a Late Late Show after the Oma bomb. And it stuck in my mind because there was a beautiful young girl who'd been a pianist and she'd lost her sight when she was blown up. And she was sitting at the edge of an seat and I always remember watching it at home. And he went up to her and he did something I hope I would do, but I'm not sure I would have thought of doing it. And he touched her face. And it was just such a moving moment. I remember thinking it was so powerful and it was so sad. So to me, that's one of the strongest television moments. Like for me, they'd be the big news events. And I mean, you asked me about my earliest memories. As a teenager, my memories are, are, are very clear memories of election coverage on RT. And I can remember watching a young Seamus Brennan when Fianna Fáil had that landslide election in 1977. So those always fascinated me. And I'd watch those through the hours on, on election count day. And then I had the, the great privilege of being able to be involved in presenting those programmes in more recent years. I always loved Gabo in the late, late. I still believe Gabo was nearly as good as I was. Uh, that's high praise, you know? but he is a great friend of mine and undoubtedly the best broadcaster we have produced after Eamon Andrews. In terms of my own discipline, which now is sport, and in terms of, of current affairs, in terms of, of being able to, to capture the mood of a nation on a big event, if you look in terms of, say, for argument's sake, the Pope's visit, if you're looking uh, at the at the most recently, the Queen and uh, President Obama, if you look at the wonderful coverage of the first time we were in the World Cup in in, uh, in ninety and a penalty shootout, particularly in Genoa, like these were wonderful, wonderful moments for, for television. And I thought we captured the mood correctly which is really the essence of public service broadcasting. The celebrations will be continuing on RT TV throughout the year with special events and programming. Ahead of the launch of his new series of Home Chef, Nevin Maguire spoke to TEN's Donal O'Donoghue about his roller coaster year. It's just been such fun. I need to keep pinching myself, Donal. It's been phenomenal. We extended the rest and we added on 10 more rooms. We always had 10. So we have 19 rooms now in total. And um, we've just gone from strength that we have 45 staff working for us in Black Lion. Just completed my new series for RTE Home Chef. That's my fourth series, which I'm really excited about. He also asked Nevin how he feels about becoming a dad for the first time and to twins. 
I mean, like, it's just something you always dream of. And I mean, like, Amela's been in such good form. We always wanted to have a family to have twins. And I'm a twin, so, you know, it's just fantastic. We don't know if they're a boy or a girl or whatever. We're going to keep that as a surprise. But it's just great. And it's fantastic. It's just lifted my, my family and my mother. My mother's just gone through treatment for lung cancer. So it's been, a, it's been a year full of emotions, you know, good and bad. And, um, you know, she got good news there about two weeks ago that she's got the all clear. And so it's just lifted her. She can't wait for the twins to arrive. And uh, really looking forward to it. Please, God, they'll be happy and healthy. And to be able to cook well too. Nevin's third series of Home Chef starts on RT1 on Thursday, January 12th. Raw is returning to RT for a fourth season and many of the favourites are returning including Charlene McKenna, Ashleen O'Sullivan and Keith McErlane. Here's a sneak peek. The doors open at Raw for a new season of delicious drama. I'm late, Shane. Late for what? Chef, I am so... Yeah, I know, mate. It's not really going to count though, is it? Strange, after all this time, coming face to face with someone who knew you inside out. And the knives are out. <laughs> He's my brother, and he said that I could stay as long as I needed. I just don't think anyone expected your need to be so long-term. Happy birthday, Fiona! And you can catch Raw on RT1 on Sunday nights at 9.30 from January 8th. Well, that's the latest happenings from the world of entertainment for your daily showbiz fix. Keep clicking here on RT10 and you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.